Well, 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 what do we have here? Finally, finally hitting you guys with a bow and tee review. We got a couple pieces from their new Glacier collection. I know you guys have been requesting bow and tee on this channel for quite some time, so it's about time. Not gonna lie to you, Bowen Tee is one of those Instagram brands that I see all the time and I'm like on the fence of buying it. Like I, I'm almost this close to actually going through with purchasing, but I never actually do. But I have heard really good things about them. Did you guys see the recent, recent launch though with all those beautiful colors looking like straight out of the 90s? So guys, I got a little taste test from their new Glacier collection, nothing cray. But nevertheless, I still wanted to showcase a little bit of a review because I got some requests and DMs when I sneak peeked this. Their Glacier collection is winter in a nutshell. You got a bunch of cool tones. You got black, white, gray, blues. I went with some grays and blues. Look, if you've been watching me for a while, you already know I'm not a cool tone person. I can't lie to you guys. I like my warm tones, but in the spirit of all things winter and the fact that I can't escape it, might as well enjoy it. I feel like brands, no matter what brand you are, I feel like everybody's coming out with that rib more than ever lately. It's trending hard. I mean, even what I'm wearing right now, this is the three piece staycation sweat set from Silk and Soul. You saw me on my stories talking about this and it's a one big rib, like. Okay, let's try these babies on, all right? What should we start with? Gray, blue, mm, mm. Gray it is. Okay, so these are on backwards. <laughs> We got a tag, y'all. We got, we got a tag, so I'm assuming this is the backside. Okay. On their Instagram, they always have their bow and tee right in the front, don't they? I'm not used to that. When it was centered, it just seems like this should be in the bag, am I right? That centered logo just... Okay, let's start over. Okay, so these are the regular shorts. Now, they do have a short, short version, but the regular shorts are most definitely like a biker style. I didn't get a sports bra to pair with this, so I'm just wearing my Gymshark bralette, but we're gonna throw this crop top over. Damn, you could really feel the thickness in here. It's very soft. I couldn't work out in this. <laughs> no way. I would, I would break a sweat instantaneously. This just doesn't feel like something I want on my skin when I'm perspiring. Perspiring. Perspiration. Pre wow, this is so nice. Like, I'm, I just can't, I can't see myself lifting and sweating up a storm in this period. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I have to admit it. Even on their site, it did say, you know, it's perfect for exercising, but not for me. The inside has a little bit of more of a brushed softness than the outside. So I'm feeling like it's almost a little more thermally. So I'm already heating up. I can definitely feel the high quality. I do wish there was an embroidered logo though. That I have to say, because this is such a thick rib, I feel like if you wanted to add that extra bit of luxuriousness and high quality, you would have a really nice, beautiful, maybe even like a satin stitched logo. I don't, I don't know. Like bow and tee, what's up? This print feels a little flaky. Because this is a heat sealed print on a rib, I feel like it's a matter of time, maybe a few washes where I feel like this is just gonna start chipping away and come right off, so. For the bottoms, Pretty true to size, but you, I feel like there's a lot of extra like room right around the band area. So I feel like if you're in between, you might want to size on down. The only thing with sizing down though, it would be, these are on the verge, the verge of just being a little too tight. Like if I size down, this would annoy me right here. But I don't think this is that big of an issue at all. Like, cause I don't plan to work out in these really. So very straightforward back, very plain and simple. There's no contouring. You do have this one random <laughs> seam break in the back where it kind of swoops down low. I'm not used to the band dipping in the back. I'm used to that in the front. Are you sure these are on the right way? There's no roll up at all in these shorts. That's good. I don't know. It's, it's right around here is a hit or miss for some people. If you want a really nice tummy control, then I wouldn't suggest these. But if you really like more athleisure, then these might actually work for you. Being as they're so thick, even this light gray color is not an issue when it comes to squat proof. So if you're somebody who likes working out a little bit of a thicker type of gym gear, these could work for you. I don't see why not. Hey, for the top, true to size, I wouldn't size up or down. Yeah, these are a high-waisted jean crop top for me. And this is how I'm gonna wear this. Sleeves are nice, they don't dig in too bad. In terms of moving around, everything stays put really nice. So really good quality stuff, guys, I'm not gonna lie. One of you gals DM me saying that they really wanted this review because from what they're used to, Bowen T's a little bit hit or miss. I have no past experiences, so I can't vouch for that. 
but right here, right now. This is definitely a pass for me. Off the bat, first impression, heck yeah. Ooh, all right, what are we thinking of this blue? Oh, icy and cool tone. I look like a piece of trident gum. Typically, I'm a true size small in everything. I got a medium because they were out of a small. And yeah, you can see this little lipperoo going on here. I needed my true size small. Is it a deal breaker? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. What's a little extra room, am I right? You know me, I love a little extra room. And to be honest with you, still feels snug. So uh, right about here, that's the only issue, but I, I wouldn't even call it an issue. I'm cool with it. So what really stood out to me with this top, I think you already know, these little strappy lines up front. It's always like the back has all the straps. They said, no, not this time. We're putting it in the front because we're bowing tea. I feel like maybe they were trying to make it look like you got this bralette underneath poking through, but really it's just part of the dang shirt. So whereas the top was a medium, I do have the leggings in my true size small. They are a little bit long on me. I'm 5'3", so my tall girls out there might really benefit from something like this. Again, you do have that angle on the back. I see what they're trying to do. It's, it is a very sexy look, showing a little bit of that lower back. To me, I guess maybe I'm not used to it, but I keep wanting to pull it up back there. I keep feeling like my leggings are, are just slowly creeping down my ass. <laughs> I felt it in the shorts too, like, I just feel like because I'm feeling a little extra air back here that something's wrong. <laughs> I think the blue is really pretty though, and this is somebody who barely wears blues. I actually played around and mix and match this for a little photo shoot, and it really looked cute, the blue and the gray, I gotta admit. So overall, I do think you can get away with working out in these sets. If you plan to use these at the gym, I think you can do that. I don't really feel it making its way down despite the curvature in the back. I don't feel it slipping. Just keep in mind, you just, you gotta love that little bit of that thick extra fabric. I know for me, for me, I'm gonna be using these just as normal leggings, like with my puffer jacket going out and about, these are my thermal wear. This is what I'm gonna use for thermal wear. The inside has a little more of that softness, a little more insulation, so I do feel like you're gonna work up a sweat in this, so I don't know how it's gonna hold up wicking sweat, but if you're looking for active wear that's not your traditional, you know, seamless with all the crazy whippity dippity contours, and you want a more feminine, pretty, look then i would definitely say give it a try because they are more on the affordable side of the spectrum when it comes to active wear i think it could duel as both athleisure and perhaps you know take it to the gym if you guys did like this video and found it helpful i'd be happy to shop the new launch that new new and with that being said if there are any brands you'd like to see next comment them down below we are slowly making our way down the list bow and t check i love you all so much thank you for watching and i will catch you in my next video